I'm the group leader of the Printed Electronics Group of the Light Technology Institute of KIT. Um, I'm, we work here in Innovation Labs in Heidelberg, and what we do is to produce electronics in the same way that you would print a book or a magazine using conventional printing techniques. So the process we usually follow to prepare a printed device is first we would receive a material from an industrial partner or from a collaborator that we have in a university, for example, the University of Heidelberg. We would first test if this material has the optical or electrical properties we need. We will measure its optical transmittance, its photoluminescence or in electrical conductivity. Then we would prepare a thin film. Uh, we would evaporate some contacts, for example, for an LED. Then we would apply a voltage, see if if it emits light, how much light it emits, and what, once we know it's a good material, then we would concentrate on the viscoelastic properties. That would mean um, measuring the, the viscosity or the surface tension, which are the properties that are crucial for getting a, a good printing film. So that we can prepare a thin film in the order of 100 nanometers that has no defects, and that would allow us to make a high performance printed device. We use two different kinds of printing techniques to produce our devices, which are digital ones or conventional techniques. Then the digital ones would be inject printing, for example, or aerosol jet printing. Uh, and on the other hand, we would use gravure printing, which is a, a technique that is usually used for printing magazines in very, very high volumes. There are different materials we use. Um, if we would like to print a metal, we would use a silver ink or a gold ink. In case we would like to make a light emitting diode or a solar cell, we would use a light emitter or light absorber uh, that could be printable. And as substrates, we can use uh, conventional plastics like the ones you use for, for bottles for, for a detergent, for example. Or if you want to make your process more sustainable, you can use biodegradable substrates like this, which is a cellulose derivative.